What's up, goats? We back at it with another video. Today's video is the most realest video that I'm making, yo. Like, I've been watching these Greek YouTube videos on how to join Greek life and what Greek life is all about on YouTube. And I'm telling y'all, it's a bunch of sugar-coated BS. Like, I can't explain to you the realness of this video and how real. I'm going to keep it so 100 with y'all. Like, how to join the org, how to, you know, get your name out there, why you should join the org. Like, I'm keeping it so real to the point where, like, Nobody, you're never gonna find another YouTube video like this about how real I'm about to keep it to you. So this is basically how to join a Greek organization on your campus. Now, right now, I'm pretty sure you see this right here. You know, I'm already on Mega Sci Fi, but that doesn't mean nothing. Like this is any single Greek organization, whether it's a sorority, whether it's a Delta, AKA, Alpha, Sigma, Kappa, whatever you want to saying, Zeta, I mean, those Zetas, SG Rose, and even Iota if you want to be one of them. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but. Keep this, I done Dean lines, I done ADP lines, I done been in a huge recruiting recruiting members and interest meetings and you know, how to actually like, you know, bring on a line. So if you're seeking advice to join Greek life, the best person is to, you know, ask me. So by now I'm pretty sure you're probably watching videos and yard shows on YouTube every day, sending them to your future line sisters and, and line brothers and telling them, oh, I can't wait till I can do this. Or, I can't wait till this. Probably you might even be looking at shirts and Nelia. Some of y'all might even be going on Greek websites, looking up Nelia that you could buy, picturing yourself in that Nelia. So yes, it's exciting. Yes, doing your research, watching videos and all that stuff, it gets you super hemmed up. But you have to realize before you go doing all that and getting excited, you have to realize before you ask and try to approach that fraternity or sorority, you got to think to yourself. I want you to have an honest thing to yourself. What can you bring to that organization? Yes, everybody can wear a nail yet. Yes, everybody can stroll. Yes, everybody can throw a party. But what as what can you bring? Like I'm looking, I'm talking about you, you right now. What can you bring to Zeta Phi Beta, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Delta Sigma Theta, Omega Psi Phi, Alpha Phi Alpha, Kappa Alpha Psi, Iota Phi Theta, Sigma Gamma Rho, you know, the rest. Uh, sorry if I skipped any. Phi Beta Sigma, all that. But anyway, what can you bring to that Greek organization? And I say that because when you go to express your interest, which I'll get to that later, you need to express what you can bring to that organization versus what the organization could do for you. So I have a lot of people come up to me on campus like, hey man, you know, I'm trying to join a fraternity. Uh, you know, man, I'll be seeing y'all, man, y'all be stepping. You know, I always wanted to be a part of that, blah, blah, blah. So I ask them one question. So why do you want to be in the, so why do, why Omega Sci Fi? Which they will ask you, why Alpha Phi Alpha? Why Cap Alpha? Why Dust Sigma Theta? Why, you know, I'm just naming out random Greek org. I always ask them that one question, why? And you will get asked that question, why? And when you get asked that question, why do you wanna be a part of that? You need to make sure that your answer is on 100%. Now there's no right answer, but you can finesse the answer. Now I'm not saying you gotta be 100% truthful because um, you know, you, you gotta sugarcoat it just a little bit. But so anyway, let's get, let's get to the cut. So I asked them why, and a couple people will be like, well, you know, I just feel like it helps me. Um, it'll help me with jobs. And um, I just know you guys are just known to be loud. And you know, uh, I just see myself as a loud person. You guys are just massive. And I just feel like it would just help me out in college and be more social. So the thing I say to stuff like that is, so why do we need you? We have bros in my fraternity that are social, that have jobs and stuff like that. What can, when somebody approaches me trying to join my organization, I wanna know what they can bring to the table, whether it's education, whether it's being involved in clubs, whether it's community service, whether it's helping out, whether it's mentorship, whether it's a organization you earn, like you have, like something, it doesn't have to be nothing major. It could be you and the NAACP or you, doing community service around campus. But I wanna know what can you bring to my chapter and my organization? We don't want people that can party. We do that already because we that's what we do. We don't need more parties and t-shirt wears. We need somebody that's gonna come in this fraternity or sorority that you're trying to join and work. People do not wanna hear in Greek life how, this, how their organization can benefit you. Like that is the most like mess, like that is the most bad thing you could do when you're seeking Greek life. Now, um, I'll be nice enough to share my spill when I was an interest. So when people would ask me, why do you want to be uh, in Omega Sci Fi? I would always tell them, well, surprisingly, I'm a legacy, which doesn't mean anything because actually I messed up when I was an interest. When I was an interest, I put my dad's frat hat on and took a picture of it. And I had the cues at my school, literally blowing my tweets up, like blowing my Twitter up, threatening me and all that. So like, I was like, dang, I messed up. I ain't really know no better because I thought I was hip to it. But I said, well, you know, I grew up around Omega Sci Fi. You know, my dad's a cue, my uncles are all cues. I've been around them, I fell in love with the brotherhood, 
but I also am also am trying to be a teacher, which I'm now I'm in for counseling. So I feel like I could bring that um, to, I have to bring Omega Sci Fi to that, which I did. I completed that oath. I was a teacher, did on step shows for the kids, multiple step shows for the kids, the community service with the kids and stuff like that. And I also am involved in um, my LB who now created Creating High Standards. And this is where you can sugarcoat it a little bit. It's a funny story because my LB, it's a funny story, but I said creating high, I'm in uh, Creating High Standards, which is a college mentoring. And I feel like I could bring that to Omega to benefit Omega. So once brought here that, they can't complain. They just like, okay, this dude. But if you say some BS excuse, like, oh, I feel like it can help me out. And don't just be like, oh, I just want to do community service and all that. Because we all know it's BS. But if you put a general reason on what you do that can help Omega Sci-Fi or Alpha Kappa Alpha or Delta Sigma Theta or Kappa Alpha Psi out, I'm telling you, that's the best first impression because I'm telling you, you're going to get asked that why. Why do you want to be a part of this organization? And you got to make sure that your answer is thorough to the most thorough breed. Now that we got that out the way, yeah, make sure that you are hip to fraternity or sorority history, whatever organization you're trying to learn. Know that motto, know the colors, know what the principles are, know what the um, chapter is because sometimes they'll ask you, oh, okay, what's the motto? Like I done seen people ask interest, oh, what's our motto? And the interest don't know it. And it's like, they'll just walk away from them. Or um, what, chapter, what chapter are we? And they don't know it. So you need to make sure you're up to date. Go on the fraternity or sorority website so you can study that stuff. Before you approach your interest, you have to make sure that you know about that chapter, that um, organization, so that you're confident and you're, you know, you can really tell them like, yo, I'm really trying to join your organization. So not only will you know about the organization, but you'll also have your thorough answer on why. Approaching Greek life, approaching Greek members, expressing your interests. Um, the wrong places to come out. I know you've seen these BS YouTube videos that say, never go up to a Greek at a party. That is a no-no. Never go up on campus and uh, throw up the hand signs. Like, come on, that's BS. Like, we, that's basic Greek. Like, we don't want to hear that. We want to know. I know y'all want to know how, like, what is a real key? So I'm about to break it down to you. So approaching Greek life, right? Usually... They'll have programs on campus. So whether it's a, you know, a program, whether it has to do with mental health or, you know, the food drive or something like that, you always want to approach them when there's nobody around. Do not approach them at a party. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat saying, I mean, like if you approach them at a party, usually they're going to be intoxicated and they're not going to be trying to hear that. So definitely don't do that. Take that advice. But you want to, the best time to approach them is at one of their programs. Now, if you're if that chapter doesn't really throw programs like that, then you're going to have to catch them, you know, whether it's walking on campus or another program, you know, Greeks go to different programs and you always want to pull them to the side. Don't ever just go up to them in front of a bunch of people and say, hey, uh, you want to say, hey, um, can I talk to you for a second? Um, pull them to the side. Welcome. And what do you know what you're going to say? I have done my research and I am definitely interested in your Greek organization. So now this is the realest part of the video. So now that you done expressed your interest and you told them why you want to be in that organization, you need to think to yourself, find out about that chapter. I'm not sugarcoating nothing. I told y'all this ain't no BS YouTube video that these YouTubers, Greek YouTubers be making, sugarcoating everything. You need to find out if you are capable of being in that chapter. And when I say that, it comes with being a process, grades, all that stuff. If you cannot see yourself having a process, and you know what I'm talking about when I say process, or if you don't have the GPA, or if you ain't ready, do not join it. You're gonna wish that you never joined it. I can't tell you how many times people, they, they, they wanna be Greek, but then when, when time gets down to put in the work or join the actual organization, the work to join the actual organization, if you know, you know, they don't wanna do it, and they just wish they weren't Greek altogether because nobody's gonna like you, nobody's gonna talk to you, nobody's gonna respect you. It's just gonna be like, what did you join for? You paid $1,500 just to not be respected, just to not be known, just to be talked on by your LSs or LBs. Like, you have to make sure every chapter is different. Some chapters don't do anything to, in order to get in, some chapters do. So you need to figure out if you're capable of doing that. Not everybody is, and I recommend, if you don't wanna go through certain things and trials and tribulations and stuff like that, Join grad chapter. Don't join undergrad because I'm telling you, if you force it and you pop out when, when I'm not pop out. Sorry for that. If you if you cat out when time comes when time comes and you know work for, to get in the organization, you're gonna wish that you never did because I'm telling you, you're gonna win. Greek life is just gonna suck for you in the hole. So you got to make sure that you are ready for whatever comes your way. 
And there's ways you can find that out, you know, ask around. A lot of people know everything, but like, I'm telling you, the worst decision you can make is to join a Greek organization and just think that you're just joining the Greek organization without doing anything to get in that Greek organization. Now, some chapters, you don't, they're just automatically like that. They're just lines after lines. They're just like that. But the chapters that are where they actually do have to do something in order to get in that chapter, it's not going to, you're not going to be accepted if you don't do that. And I'm telling you, you're going to regret joining that whole organization. You're going to wish you, you're going to wish you could spend that 1500 on whatever else that you want to spend it on because the Greek life is not going to be for you. So now that we got that out the way, now is showing your face, showing your face, showing your face, which means hitting them up, calling them. Hey, um, I just want to know if, you, if you're free, you know, grab a bite or go to hang out or something like that. Like these people, Greeks want to get to know you just because you're interested in joining an organization. Like my interest, when I had interest, I was chilling with them at parties. I was inviting them over, chilling with them because I want to get to know them as a person. If you're trying to be a part of my chapter, I got to get to know you as a person, as a whole. So if I don't know you, you ain't coming in my chapter. If I don't know who you are, if I don't know what you're about, if I don't know what you do, if you don't show your face, if you don't hit me up, what, what you think? I'm going to just let you just join my chapter. I don't know you. So you got to make sure that you're around them, go to all the programs, hang out with them uh, separately. And it's not always got to be hostile. It don't always got to be them doing something like, yo, like sometimes y'all really just be chilling, like just to so y'all can get to know each other because you're not going to get put on if they don't know nothing about you, especially if you're um, in a sorority. Like if you ain't, if you don't show your face on that campus to them, they're not going to put you on. They're going to ignore you. Like you got to be on the behind. Like I'm talking like blowing their phone up, letting them like you want them to know that you want to join this Greek organization. Like you're serious about this. If you don't act like you're serious, they're not going to take you seriously. And yes, you got to kiss it behind a little bit, but it's for the good. If you want to join that organization, you got to do what you got to do. We all did it. I did it. You know what I'm saying? You had to make phone calls and, you know, hit up the profile so they get to know who you are, which is cool. Like, they want to know who you are. You're going into their chapter. So make sure that you show your face. Now, this is the last real part I'm going to make it with. Um, like I said, I'm keeping it real. I'm not sugarcoating anything, yo. Sororities, yo. Especially to these two organizations. And y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> Ladies, you have to prepare yourself to be talked about. Like, I don't think I've ever witnessed a sorority line go through and nobody talked about them. Whether you, if you do anything to get in that organization or whether you don't, there's always going to be those little outside talkers that got something to say about you and what y'all are going through. So, like, X that out. You got to be ready for it. It's coming. People are going to talk about you. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to try to downplay you. Ignore it. Don't pay no attention to it. You join that organization. You're putting in work for your organization and stuff like that. So, so boom, Bow. fast forward. Boom. You are now Greek. You got the letters on your chest. You chilling. You accomplished something that's really good. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's sweet to enjoy. It's awesome. So now you're Greek. You're finally on campus. Everybody knows who you are. You probably done probated and stuff like that. So now what you going to do? You got these letters now. They let you in the chapter. What you going to do? You going to be a t-shirt wearer, meaning you just don't go nowhere. You going to be staying at IUP. You going to do programs. Are you going to go road tripping to other schools? What are you going to do to make your sorority or fraternity better? When you join that fraternity, you want people to know who you are. When I join, I always say, yo, people are going to know who I am. People are going to know me as Justin, the Q that goes everywhere and puts in work. Cause that's what I did. Like I've been, I couldn't tell you how many times I road tripped to different districts, states, all that stuff. But I always wanted to make a name for myself. I made the best of it and I'm cool at that. But like, you got to make sure that you make a difference in your fraternity. And if you want me to spell back the stuff that I did, like I didn't throw programs at my school. I didn't did step shows for the kids. I didn't did community service at my school. I was teaching at, in the summer camp. I was teaching at. Um, and like I didn't invite a bros there. Like, bro, like I, I've done a lot of stuff um, from clothing drives and stuff like that. So that's what my impact was on joining the fraternity. But you got to find your own passion. Find something like when you're interested, when you're going through it, find something that you outside of your LBs or LSs that you can do to benefit your organization so that it's automatically stamped. Like Justin did this for his organization by himself, that's out, or that's lit, he did this for the, you know what I'm saying, like, I didn't, I didn't do news articles, um, so a bunch of stuff, man, I could go on and on, but you need to make sure that you bring in something to the table when you're finally in the Greek organization, so with all that being said, that is how 
to join and approach Greek life on your campus. I will make another video on how to join a Greek organization if that Greek organization that you want to be in is not on the yard at the moment, because that's how I had to wait. I, I There was everybody else on the yard but the bruh, so I had to wait. And the biggest mistake that people make is they want to just be Greek. Like that is the most idiotic thing to do. You want to deep down, that's like me deep down wanting to be um, a Q, but I went ahead and pledged Kappa because the Qs went on the yard. And then when the Qs come back, I'm sitting there watching them. Dang, I wish that was me, man. I wish I could be hopping and stuff like that. But deep down, I wanted to be a Q, but I'm like, I'm stuck in this ugly red. Ugh. You don't want to be that person. Whatever Greek organization that you can see yourself doing, wait, wait, wait. You will not regret it. Do not jump in. You don't know how many people I know that wanted to be another orb, but since they weren't there, they just joined it anyway. And then the yard finally comes back, and now they're sitting back like, dang, that could have been me. But now I'm stuck in this nasty. I don't want to say no. I mean, this is beautiful. This, this is royalty right here, but, you know, any other thing. But be safe. I hope y'all really like got something out of this video. If you got any questions about Greek life, discretion is with me 100%. You can shoot my email, I go to you, follow my page, like my uh, videos, and you know, I got y'all. Discretion is with me. I will not sell anybody nothing. So you know what I'm saying you, you're safe with me. Even if you're a bro interest, I got you. So be safe, holla back, peace.